Uh, my life changed drastically, and I'll just talk for a little while. It started in 2007 at Rosh Hashanah, and uh, we were in a big gathering with leaders, and I, they said, we're, in, we're going to be excited about what you share tomorrow, and the Lord said, you're going to tell them that the season of the prayer movement that had been so strong for seven years in America is now you're going to have to be resigned from it. And uh, I did. And I wasn't sure exactly where the Lord was leading me because I knew, I, I know I'm a prayer warrior and I'm an intercessor and I knew he wasn't telling me to quit praying. I just knew something had shifted from last season's prayer movement. And then in May of 2008, May 31st, 2008, God we were at uh, Liberty Park in New Jersey, and the Lord caught me up, literally caught me up and uh, for four hours and showed me our nation. Now, he showed me first my own bloodline, and I, I knew enough history about my bloodline because it's been written about and um, knew some of where it had come from, from uh, Luxembourg, and then from uh, Ireland, and then uh, aligned with our first people here, my mother's Chickasaw. And uh, he showed me that bloodline, and he showed me where the glory came on that bloodline, and then where the iniquities came into our bloodline. And uh, he told me that I would go to war at that point for bloodlines. And he then caught me higher up and showed me our nation, showed me every state in our nation, showed me that every state had a new remnant that would have to arise. And uh, he called that remnant the triumphant reserve, that he would start calling them forth and at a, by a certain time, they would have to be in place for the future. So instead of just the prayer movement, we were coming into a time where a triumphant people would have to learn to gather together, whether they liked each other or didn't like each other. And every state had a triumphant reserve. He then showed me these fiery castles down in the ground of uh, not every state but of several states. He showed me the covenant alignment of states. There were 21 states in this nation in covenant. This whole nation was not in covenant with the Lord. And I'm not sure we have gotten to that place yet, but there was a triumphant reserve in every state. And I felt tonight uh, that it was very important that we understand exactly where we are today and why Atlanta is so important. And then he showed me the iniquity, the iniquitous thrones in every state. Every state had iniquitous thrones. These fiery castles later on, I began to see they were the apostolic centers that are now forming. Uh, and they were vibrant. And uh, when the triumphant reserve would get to a meeting at one of those places, and now I'm caught way into the future by now, because this was May 31st, 2008. And I'm, I'm at a place in the future that, we are now getting to. And uh, because it was like a 14 year time frame from 2008 and that we had to cross into and move beyond. And um, when this triumphant reserve would get to the right place at the right time in the future, like tonight, uh, 
that glory castle would become fire. And when they left, their cells would be filled with a glory fire seven times stronger than when they walked in. And the Lord showed me that because of where they were going to walk from the point when they got there. Now, I believe tonight is one of those meetings. And I uh, wondered, I started seeing it. We had not even developed the Global Sphere Center. I did not know that would be an assignment of mine. If uh, my life was traveling the nations and 550,000 miles a year on a normal year, flight miles. And uh, yet, the Lord said, you will step out and build a prototype for the future. And that was uh, a, an assignment I would not have chosen. But he chose it. Uh, so we could start interceding through what had to form in days ahead. Now, two other things have happened to me. I'm going to show you in a moment what happened to me in South Carolina. Then I'm going to show you that no one here, even my closest team here, has heard that happened to me. It will be two weeks ago tomorrow. And I believe if we put this together from a heavenly perspective, just as James was saying, we're going to be able to see something that God is saying to us here in Atlanta. Because I need to reiterate, Atlanta was the governmental city that could rule a nation to go the wrong way. Now, for me to say that, that puts Atlanta at the same level of territorial authority as a nation like as a, as a city like Washington, D.C. becomes that important that we see how this region is so important to the life of the future, that DeLorean, that God has given us to ride into. It becomes very, very important. And how we need to call forth certain things that will start happening here in this region that can shift a whole entire nation. See, when you go back and look and see how Israel fell, it really fell because they kept getting further and further away from the Lord. Uh, and their disobedience kept drifting them away from the Lord. And really, it became a worship issue. Just as Clay said, uh, Rehoboam took 10 of the tribes and said, we're going to go north and we're going to set up a whole new worship system. It left the two tribes in place in Jerusalem worshiping. But now you had a nation split into two camps around worship. Now hear what I'm saying to you. That's what cannot save a nation. So, as I've meditated on that, we have to have one camp of worshipers that are willing to come together at appointed times and worship. And see, in, in kingdom... Uh, See, I don't live down here in the earth. I, I live in the heavenly realms. I walk down here. Uh, and sometimes forget, really, 
because we're seated in heavenly places. And when you get start looking at kingdom beyond church, I, I, I know that Bishop could come up here and teach this better than I, but when you look at kingdom rather than church, you see a different perspective. Kingdom has a language. Kingdom has a culture. Kingdom has a color. Its color is not what we look like. It's, it's gold. It's glory. It's, I, I mean, it doesn't matter what your outside skin looks like because it's going to reflect a different shine if you're operating in kingdom. And we have to understand that. It's kingdom is not Democrat and it's not Republican. Kingdom has a government that rules. And that's why the Lord said, let me give you an example by using the word ecclesia. It wasn't that we were supposed to rule or be like Rome. He wanted us to understand that as a kingdom, we had the authority to be sent into a territory and change its very identity. 